Car then for the Bahrain Grand Prix, play the Dragon Sonic on pole from Mini for Racing Point Force India. Then it's UK Ball in the number 89, Lawless Clerk, and then his teammate Sigmund. Then it's Nando Lorries and Alan Lee with a great qualifying. He's ahead of Anok Huey, disappointing for him. Then it's an then it's Ichi Nasser, Marcus Nelson running out the top 10, then it's Mohamed Nawawi, Solos Kynes, and his countryman and teammate, Matuka. And at Badness, the 14th starts 14th, and it's Seth Ravo, best start of the season. Then it's MF1 World, Kei Hori, JD Venter, Catfish. Down in 21st is the number 21 of Medesis, and in last place, it is Bartlett Hamilton. Well then, with Australia being absolutely amazing. Hopefully we might get a duel in the desert. It's all five lights, go on. Lights out and away we go. That's a pretty even start from the top two. Many on the soft tires compared to the Mercedes's who are both on the mediums. And it looks like Sigmund's had a pretty woeful start. As coming through turn one, Mini does get ahead of B Dragon Sonic. And we've got yellow flags in the first sector as Zeph is facing the wrong direction. Yes, he is. And Raver hits him, and flying goes MF1 World. It's a virtual safety car, and oh, that's quite a bit of a blockade there. JD Vents is still We're trying to get out of there. As we look with Zeph now, and he is out, and he's been flipped by JD Venter. And it's a full safety car now. Not a lot of carnage coming through the first chicanes. But out in front, the Italian of Mini leads the way from B Dragon Sonic and U Cable. And it's Lawless Chiclerk and Nando Lorries that'll be your top five. Unless someone else has to make any pit stops, I think. Yeah, I believe that one of the manners has a has substantial damage. And I think it might be Batuko. Who is in 60 from hard compound of tires. Not ideal for him. <clears throat> Drink water, kids. Drink water. But anyway, as we see the Force India come around to start the second lap of this 19 lap race. And before you ask when you do see the car, yet we do cut out a lot of the middle of a safety car because Honestly, just saves time. And to be honest, I'm not, as we see Batuko come into the pits, I'm not too satisfied. I'm not too, like, I don't know whether or not this is, like, how the Mercedes are going through with this so far, but, like, I don't think the Mercedes should be able to hold on to their current positions. Anyway, skipping forward now, the safety car ending on lap three. So we're going to have Mini lead the way on its soft compound tyres compared to the Mercedes who are on the mediums behind. Dra B Dragon Sonic and UK Ball should be swamped here, but we go back racing again here in Bahrain. And yeah, look at how much time the Dragon Sonics lost on the Force India ahead. Not ideal by any stretch of the term. Notless Hamilton gets forced wide by Catfish, but even then, he's the guy who's gotten the warning for track limits, and you don't want to get four of those, because then you'll get penalized by a second time penalty, which we do see often in other races. But Mini then still holding the lead, four tenths of a second ahead of B Dragon Sonic. As we see Marcus Nelson, Mini's teammate, he's gonna try and get up into eighth place. He does get up into eighth place, does the number 13 car. But he's still got Zygmunt on his outside. But the second sector goes to B Dragon Sonic in the 44. <coughs> <clears throat> but now we see Ravo. He's currently up in 13th place on the hard combine of tires. First slap for B Dragon Sonic. He doesn't have DRS. He'll get DRS coming through turn 
to three. He's got the entire line and he's ahead of Mini. They, they are side by side, but with DRS and ERS at the same time, B Dragon Sonic takes the lead of the Bahrain Grand Prix. As further down the order, Ravos dropped down to 14th place. The Ferrari car this season doesn't actually seem to be too quick. It also doesn't seem to be too slow either. It can do some pretty good things. And you know, that's mainly just down to who's in the car. As we see the number seven drop down to 16th. He's defending with all of, his, all of his might, but he's not doing too much. UK balls drop down to fourth as well. So, whilst Clerk obviously making the pass on the Mercedes driver. And you know, Haas have got in themselves a pretty good start. Uh, Alan Lee now, just touching on him. He's dropped down to 10th place. He started ahead of one of the Red Bulls. But of course, they both got passed. And Babinets did go up into 13th. Lars to Clerk with a new fastest lap of the Grand Prix. As we see Mini send it down the inside on Big Dragon Sonic. He's going to get DRS coming down the straight as well. So the Italian man should retake the lead of the Bahrain Grand Prix as UK will retake that position on the podium he held. And I think the soft tyres are beginning to go off a little bit. A little bit of graining on the front tires as you can see the on Lois Clerk. And I'm not too sure how much longer they can go on for. If I were to guess, I'd say that the longest extender on the soft tires right now would probably go out to lap number eight. As we can see, the mediums also having that issue. And look at how much time B Dragon Sonic's actually lost there. He's only four tenths down. That will be striking distance on the main straight. And yet, two tenths of a second. One tenth of a second. And by the time they go down into turn one, as Alan Lee pits, B Dragon Sonic takes the lead of the Sakiri Sakia Grand Prix, but he doesn't get the DRS benefit. Instead, he's actually gotten quite the slingshot coming through there, which has allowed him to regain his position. Not this answer with another track limits warning. As we're coming up to at the halfway point in this race. He's UK ball still fourth. He's, he's been fighting with Wallace Clerk for what seems to be the entire race. But, to be honest, I'm not too sure what he can do. As we can see, Mini showing what he can do. Sending it down the inside. The reigning driver's champion. But he's just not close enough to make a move there. And he's got Lawless to Clerk on his tail now. Lawless to Clerk alongside. Lawless to Clerk ahead. And he's got UK ball to worry about now as well. And can he send it down the inside? Can the brick do it? His teammate comes in. Chaclerc comes in, so UK ball stays out, and he will have the lead of the Grand Prix for now. The net race lead should still stay with his teammate in the 44. So let's take a look at Mini's pit stop here. And, and he's not come out. Oh, he's had to wait for other drivers to come out of the pits. And he's only going to be 13th coming out of the pits. Unfortunate for him. Looks like a pit stop is around 20 seconds around here. 20 second pit stops. Now coming into, coming through the second sector then with B Dragon Sonic who's currently 11th, but it is a net race lead. I'm not too sure how much more he can do. He can try to close up on JD Venter, but all he has to do is keep that delta to his teammate the exact same, and he should keep his race lead. If we go on board with his teammate and look at the state of those mediums, look at the state of JD Venter's softs as well. He's being caught 
by the Nigerian behind him. And into the pits does come UK ball as well as Zygmunt and Marcus Nelson. And not Huey, not Huey stays out. You, I, I can't actually pronounce his last name, sadly. I'm trying to do it as best as I can. But the Red Bull driver, however, comes through turn three. He is leading the race, but on tires that have seen better days, to say the least. As B Dragon Sonic is currently in fourth place. And he's catching Ravo at a rate of knots. His teammate in the FEMC from season two through to season four. They did have a few falling out. But as far as we can tell, they are still quite respectful of each other. But I do believe that the Ferrari man's gonna have to let him by. And yes, he does, according to the timing tower coming through turn 10. Too bad we couldn't actually see that. We're, we were on board with Rover for a second there, but those hard tires are not lasting as much as anyone would have wanted. The hard tires are actually kind of bad, if you ask me. Like, they last the longest, sure, but they are also the slowest compound of tire. Eight tenths of a second, not a loss, and no one else is on them ever in the race because no one just thinks about using the hards. They are just kind of bad as into the pits has come an Okiwe on lap 10 of 19. And Lala Chaclerc gets past Ravo. Nando Lorries will be the next one on the chopping block. But here comes Medesis getting past as JD Venter. UK ball gets a flat second time, but it's even got a collision as into the wall. Goes, goes Ravo. And oh, Mini's gone up on two wheels. Ichinose involved in that as well. Oh, and Ark Huey gets a fast time penalty for causing a collision to both. These four Indians have gone airborne. And that's been a major collision for a lot of drivers here. As out goes Mini. Flying tire there. And uh, I think that is Batuko once more. That is another safety car. And for Ravo right now, I think this would be the perfect time to switch onto the mediums, which should take him to the end. Heck, he could even gamble on the softs. But here we are then, lap 13 now. On board with Lawless Clerk, who's leading the race from UK Ball, Nando Lorries, Nawawi, and B Dragon Sonic. And looking on his dashboard, 67% tire wear for the next six laps, that's not going to be manageable. That just simply can't be manageable. As you can see, a lot of drivers in the rear of the field trying to get some temperature into the tires. <coughs> Safety car coming down through the back straight, coming up to the final turn. The Monogas driver and Lawless Clerk leading the way but he's probably still gonna have to make one more pit stop safety car ending this lap we should get five racing laps so coming through the final turn is Lawless Clerk. he will stay out and he will restart this Bahrain Grand Prix now Oh, it's Leclerc on lap 14 of 19, then five to go. And the driver's championship leader currently in fifth with his teammate ahead in second with a 10 second time penalty. That other five seconds was gained due to hitting Lars Leclerc under safety car. Which is... Again, unfortunate for UK ball, but right now he's just got to act as a bit of a stopgap as he goes down the inside of Lawless Leclerc. And UK ball takes the lead of this race on track, but he still has to fight with Lawless Leclerc, who retakes that lead of the race. He does not have DRS, but you want to know who does? Both Mercedes have DRS, so sending it down the inside is UK ball, and he does take the lead. B Dragon Sonic up into fourth, getting past only Nando Lorry sadly, but he's on the back 
of Muhammad Huawei, the driver from Ma uh, Malaysia, driving for Williams, and he's gone past Lawless to Clerk. B Track and Sonic alongside Lawless to Clerk. Let's see how it happens as we come down into turn one. Four drivers potentially in the hunt for taking the lead. Heck, you can even include both red balls into the equation. But B Dragon Sonic just can't find anywhere to get past Lawless Clark without getting hit. And that has brought into this both red balls. Track Lewis warning for Catfish in the number two McLaren car. And B Dragon Sonic, he has just gotten past. As well as Clark, who's dropping down like a rock. He's down to fifth place with only a handful of laps left to go and with him likely having to make another pit stop. Well, I don't think that the top three drivers will have to pit again. I'm not too sure, but when I'm pretty sure that B-Dragon Sonic shouldn't have to pit, it will be close, but he shouldn't have to pit again. And there is the Nigerian getting past his own teammate. Didn't look too difficult. Must have been a team order to let him by. As we go now to start lap 16 of 19. Three to go till this race is over. And an Art Huey pulling alongside. In UK ball as Nolas Hamilton comes into the pits. And up into third place goes the Hong Kong driver in the number 29. Medesis is also into the pits. The Greek driver currently running in last for Ferrari. As they now scrabble down through into turn four on board with Etienne Osir. As the race leader, Mohamed Awawi under threat from B Dragon Sonic. I am actually watching the F2 race as I commentate. So um, as we see b Track and Sonic go into the lead, I've just seen Kimi Antonelli stall. And, and here it comes, the Williams trying to get back alongside with that Mercedes in the 44, coming down into the final double turn and into the pits comes, well, Everyone in the top four, uh, apart from the race leader. It's lap 17 of 19. The pit lane entry closes on lap 18. So this is going to be very close. <coughs> now, Silas Kynes has got himself a track limits warning. Currently running in sixth. And he's on soft tyres, so he'll likely have to pit again. Otherwise, risk a puncture or or even understeering or oversteering for a turn. That's the risk you run when you don't have uh, too much tread or too much grip with your tyres. And personally, you shouldn't ever need to run that risk. Uh, should have mentioned this earlier, but probability of rain here is 0%. Kind of obviously. It's coming through the final turn. Does B Dragon Sonic come in? He does not come into the pits. He's going to start the penultimate lap of the race without coming in. Meanwhile, the, th the four drivers behind him all line up to come into the pits. So B Dragon Sonic leads the way from Salas Kynes as his teammate pits. And my goodness me, this could actually be one of the most interesting finishing orders I ever did see while watching in this championship. JD Venter is currently in third place, but under fire from Hamon Huawei, who understandably, JD Venter understands this isn't his race. This is his chance to get some very good points, but fighting with the Williams is not his goal. 
And that does seem to be the sentiment shared by his teammate, who's just like itching on saying goodbye. Salba haven't actually had the start to the season they might have wanted compared to last season where it you know say did seem to be a genuine title threat didn't really turn out too well for him though especially after Baku last season don't make me tap that sign but as we see the midfield chuck along Making some passes, we're going to the final lap of the Bahrain Eve, the Bahrain Grand Prix. I'm going to record round two of the FEMC after this. As we see Lawless Clark on the back of JD Venter relegating him possibly to seventh. And if it continues like this, he could be out of the point here. Either that or Renault could score double points. Because remember, there are drivers ahead with penalties and Ichino Sayak could even get by a JD Venter and he will still and he will still be ahead. Not those Hamilton's dropped down to 10th place as Mando Loris has gone by. JD Venter still quite a ways is ahead of Ichino Say, but they are coming up to a DRS zone now, so I do expect a potential overtake to occur here either that or he becomes a stopgap but coming through the final turn coming up to the final turn as he did last time out in melbourne b dragon sonic takes home the race win here in bahrain and extends his championship lead after only two races and two consecutive race wins salos kides give a round of applause to him and manner coming home with a second place finish then at the line, it will be Mohamed Awawi who will be third. UK will have the 10 second time penalty, so it will drop down the order. But your top three, everybody, a Mercedes, a Manor, and a Williams, all three of them Mercedes powered. So here's your podium, man. The Nigerian, once again, takes another win. The X on his helmet. Showing how he is the unknown variable, according to himself. Salas Kynes, however, great stuff from him. Great strategy from Mana to keep him up in second. And then Mohamed Awawi, who was running in the lead at one point, he could have taken the race win. So here's your classification then. B Dragon Sonic from Salas Kynes, Mohamed Awawi, Lawrence Clark, Mando Lawrence, and Okiwi, Zygmunt, and Nautilus Hamilton, that's Arnett Fabulous, UK Ball, JD Venter. Alan Lee, Raybo, Marcus Nelson, Ichinose, Catfish, Hori, Medesis, Batuko, Mini, Zeph, and MF1 World. Then, in the driver's standings, you have B Dragon Sonic from Inokiwi and Mohamed Wally, then Salas Kynes, Nando Loris, Mini, Zeph, and Lala Chaklark. Then you've got Sigmund, Alan Lee, Notless Hamilton, Arnett Badness, Ichinose, UK Ball, Marcus Nelson, Hori, Catfish, JD Venter, Medesis, Ravo, Batuko, and MF1 World. In the constructor standings, you have Mercedes from Red Bull, Williams, Mana, and Haas. Then Racing Point for Cynthia, Toro Rosso, Renault, Alfa Romeo Salvo, McLaren, and Scuderia Ferrari. We'll see you guys next time then for the Chinese Grand Prix.